Okay, that huge rodent, that was crazy. These are funky animals. This is, he, it's huge, Corey. And brand new, look, oh, look, it's a whole pack of them, Corey. I hope wow. they don't charge you. Lots of I babies. Know. Yeah, this is how they run. They're like gangs, in a way. <laughs> um, there are uh, there's some ducks in here that, but the ducks know their place. Christy Morcom is with us, of course. Uh, we're at Wildlife World Zoo, Aquarium, and Safari Park. Yes, I got it all. <laughs> awesome, good job, Corey. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so glad to see you in person again. It's been a long time since we've been able to get together. It's been too long. I'm yeah, so has. excited to have you here, and I'm extra excited because this is the first time we're showing our capybara from inside their exhibit yes. and what better timing because they just had seven little pups oh. a little over a week ago they're really darling and i don't even use the word darling in regular conversation but they really are let's take a peek there um can, can we tell which is the mom or the dad or is there a weird uncle back there what's going on so it looks like mom is the one who has her rear end facing us kind of walking off mm -hmm. and then we have dad and then we do have uncle okay and they live in family groups and they're just incredible creatures because when you look at them that does not look like an aquatic animal it looks like the least aquatic animal in the entire zoo. Yeah, and what's amazing is they have partially webbed feet, and that allows them to I have them a cousin like that. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. I'm not, I'm not kidding either. <laughs> I won't name him, but yes. He sounds like he has an advantage when he's in the water. He Who's does, like but he kind of swims in a circle because <laughs> only one side is done. <laughs> but anyway, uh, where are we going to find the capybara in the wild? In South America is where they're going to be the most common. Unfortunately, these guys are hunted for their meat and for their skin. So in isolated areas, they've actually become extinct and their numbers have dropped. But overall, they're doing pretty well because they are so adaptable. They're really fascinating to watch. And how old are these pups? Just a little over a week. But when they're born, it's after about a four to five month gestation period and they're pretty developed like their eyes are open they're cruising around they're already swimming and they start eating solid foods really fast boy i guess um that's that always fascinates me to see how uh how advanced a newborn animal is i suppose it kind of depends on the environment and how scary life is going to be right away for the animal right Absolutely. It's really interesting because you could have an animal like a marsupial that only has a 30-day gestation period and born very underdeveloped where they look like little pinky mice. And then you can have these incredible capybara that are born after a four to five month gestation period. And look at them go. Look at their oh little gosh. line. I, 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 I don't think the Disney Corporation could put together a better capybara exhibit than we're seeing right now. I completely agree. And when guests come out, we have a huge platform that you can stand on top of. And that's how we've always done our segments in the past. So they can get a really broad view of the capybara, but they're not going to get as up close and personal as we are right no. now. Well, thank you for that. And by the way, for folks who've never been, and uh, I had a granddaughter Georgia out here just a couple of weeks ago. It's just great. I love, and I say it a, a lot, but I love how uh, sort of low to the ground things are even for little ones they get a great view even if they're in a stroller they can see uh, everything and the layout is great what time do you open what are your days of the year that you're open so we open every single day of the year uh, at 9 a.m the zoo stays open until 6 the aquarium stays open until 7 this is great weather to come out well, and today people would need be to perfect. see these little adorable babies yeah i love it